Today we're looking at some new technology in catamaran sailing and that is the deck sweeper mainsail. Yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV and today we're going to be taking a look at the deck sweeper mainsail on the C2 catamaran. The deck sweeper sail started in the A-class catamarans as a brand new concept and it has moved on to the F18 class where if you don't have a deck sweeper mainsail it's unlikely that you're going to be able to compete at the highest level and do well. Uh, the reason why the deck sweeper mainsail works is because using the same length of mast on the boat you can have a much higher aspect sail by putting some of the sail area here at the bottom. What this will do is make the boat go faster rather than just want to fly the hull more on an upwind and downwind course. What we're going to look at is how do you work with this sort of sail because of course how on earth are you going to get across the boat? So let's take it on the water and have a look. Rolling, rolling. Ooh, that's the sound clapperboard kind of thing. Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. As we said, we're going to head out on the C2 with the deck sweeper uh, to find out how we're going to deal with it. Um, it's quite a light wind at the moment. I should think somewhere between seven and ten knots today professional athlete stuntman on board is Ash. Hi guys, how are we doing? Ash is going to be coping with uh, the trials that this thing is going to bring and the joys, of course. Right, I think we have to go sort of some way side so we can head out from there. Yeah, just keep going, dude. I'll just noodle with the boat as we go. Almost zero wind. In actual peace, this isn't going to get too much of a workout. Yeah, man. Okay, so there we are, we're on board. That was a fairly unsympathetic launch as far as Ash was concerned. I started sailing off before he'd got on the boat. All right, so the first test is, actually we'll go out a little bit deeper before we put the dagger boards down. In fact, I think we'll tack. So if you stay on this side just yep. a little bit longer, we'll get this board down and then move across afterwards. So go through the little hole at the back. It's not a very big space, but it's big enough. And that's the main thing, that little space. The sail does kind of fold out of the way a little bit. All right, so putting the dagger board down, just keeping that kind of hole exposed. Yeah, go on then, dude. Cool, and you can come up. Just make sure the downhaul's cleated, uh, the red one. Uh, on the outside, yeah, just put it in the cleat and then if you come across. So here is Ash's first crossing of the boat and he's made it. Welcome to the windward side. Okay, so in these light winds, we're just going to move forwards a little bit. So there's a little bit more juice than uh, perhaps previously anticipated. So you can just squeeze the downhaul on a little bit. So the red one again. Okay, and in fact, the wind is pretty guff just here. So we're gonna go for attack. You ready to attack, dude? Yeah, man. Okay, so we're attacking there. Oh, the wind's just shifted a bit, but we're still gonna go. Just going through the little hole at the back. Wonder where Ash went. Oh, look, and as if by magic, he's here. He's arrived. Um, yeah, so 
bit of a gust coming so you could probably hook on there just in case this gust brings with it any any juice I'm staying a little bit further back than I'd want to be normally oh yeah here we go okay yeah out please cool man and if you just ride with the downhaul so if we start flying a hull anymore just pull the downhaul on more oh wow we might have scored some wind here this is just what we wanted was some wind just going to release the mast a little bit more just to keep that in the sweet spot for this light wind Okay, so as well as the deck sweeper mainsail, we've got a specially designed deck sweeper jib, which is a slightly different shape, and the deck sweeper trampoline, which is a more solid trampoline that puts a solid base at the end of the sail, which apparently does something really good to the aerodynamics of the boat. All right, we're gonna squeeze it around this, dangerously squeeze it around going to come in board a little bit which should help us point a little bit higher how's our main cell perhaps a little bit tight okay so I think the purpose of this video was to see how we deal with the uh, the deck sweeper so we won't go too much further before we throw in another maneuver and we'll see how Ash does getting around the front of the mast. Okay, so should we go just there? Are you ready? All right, so we're just tacking there. And moving across. Cranking her up. And this time, if you stay on the boat, you can go a bit further forwards. Okay, so we're gonna go on a little bit further and then we'll tack, put up the kite and then see what she's got. I think in this wind, we'll definitely be a crew on the leeward side mode with the spinnaker. Um, and we'll just give it some, let's, let's say we'll give it some fairly serious beans on the downwind. I didn't bring my GPS, so I'll, if it looks like we're going fast at any time, I'll, uh, overlay the telemetry onto the movie so that we can see how fast we're going but there's not a lot of wind so we can't expect big speeds in this light breeze excellent okay so we're just being headed there a bit so we're going to go for another tack you ready yeah. Lovely, and as if by magic, he's there again. So, how are you finding the manoeuvring so far, Ash? It's a lot easier than most cats, it's uh, nice. But um, the moving around the boat? Oh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's gonna mind your feet on the gym track, but other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Excellent, so Ash is giving it the thumb up at the moment. A bit more wind coming down here. Might get to stretch the legs. Again, I think we'll keep going while the wind is good. I think I might even be able to get out as well. Okay, so what I prefer to do in these kind of fairly marginal double trapeze conditions is if there's a lull, then the crew will be the one to go in. So if you just swing onto the bow there, in the lull, and then if we get a gust, then you can swing out again. Okay, the wind's gone a bit soft again, so I think we will go for the kite. So perhaps if you could lift this dagger board first, just up to, up to the strap. Oh, it's a bit high. Okay, and if you pull the strap to the other side, 
so that's going to lift the dagger board on the other side yeah try not to pull against the trampoline try to just pull it straight across okay lovely all right so then we could go out with the tack line so that's the gray one on the outside all right and now we're going for the hoist and then what we'll do after the hoist is we'll just get it pulling and then i'll go for a jibe almost straight away so ash can stay on this side nice Okay, and we're going to go for a jibe straight away so you can stay on that side. Cool. Right, so if we get a gust, this might even be a little bit hot to get around the harbour wall. So we might end up in the harbour here, which will be very exciting for everybody involved. Okay, so it's gonna be the same on the jibe as well as the tack, that when we jibe, Ash is gonna go around the front of the mast in these light winds. So let's just get a few jibes in here while we've got a bit of, well actually, shall we, uh, what should we do? Can we get round there? We feeling we can get round there. I think we could get round there. Let's hope we can get round there. Yeah, so Ash's spinnaker trimming, he's just keeping the spinnaker as loose as possible. So it's never oversheeted. It's doing a great job there with the trimming. Let's go for a little bit more dagger board down. Just a, yeah, just feel we're sliding a little bit. So I was feeling that the boat was kind of sliding sideways um, a bit too much. Perhaps we had the dagger boards up too much for these light winds. Okay, so I'm gonna move into a more forward position as well. I was just a bit nervous there about getting past the harbour wall uh, so I didn't move into an action position. So in this light wind I'm coming in quite close to the middle of the boat. Just to try to encourage the hull to lift a little bit, if it can be encouraged. All right, and I think it's time to bang in a jibe. You ready, dude? Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming through my little hole at the back. Oh, God, it does make you feel old and ash has disappeared. Round to the other side. It's like we never see each other anymore. Light wind, downwind deck sweeper. Yeah, if you're doing a long distance race in a light wind, downwind, you wouldn't see your crew for the whole downwind leg. Okay, this is nice. We've got a little bit more pressure coming down here. Not much more, but a little bit. Okay, so we'll go for another jibe. You ready? Yep. Okay, it's time walking to the back. Going through my little hole and... Nice. And I think what we'll do is we'll come up to this orange boy and use that as a lured mark for dropping so we can see how we get on with the procedure there. Wind's come round a little bit there. So this is, of course, in the uh, light wind mode. We'll have a look at the heavy wind mode once we have some heavy wind. That might not quite be today. So what we're gonna do is jibe just before 90 degrees for the mark. 
so the next jibe will be almost where we drop it so here we go into the jibe oh okay so it looks like we will be jibing getting it going and then probably best if you stay on that side after this jibe so then you're in the right spot for the drop so on this boat the crew has to be on the port side for dropping the kite so let's jibe one more time there here we go okay and let's go for the drop there so take up the slack on the retrieval bang the halyard it's pulling it down like a ferret down a drain pipe okay that sheet from the other side is just seems to be a little bit tight there a bit pulled so now the kite is down i could do a silky smooth sweet mark rounding there and there we are how was that ash with the downwind yeah it was good i enjoyed it nice and uh, quick yeah it's good cool so there we go that is the light wind section covered okay so this is martin hi uh, you may know martin from a very windy sail on a hobie 16 earlier in the season martin's going to help to demonstrate how we're crossing the boat on the downwind point of sail especially when it's windier um, upwind is the same in light winds and strong winds but on the downwind we don't want the crew going around the front of the mast so instead the crew is going through the whole the little the special little hole as i've decided to call it just now um, first and then the helm's coming through afterwards it does look like there's some good wind just coming up here So we're going to go for attack. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, hello. hello. In fact, we'll keep this here and I'll pull the other one up a bit. Cause we're gonna, we're going to come off the wind a little bit in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bear away. Okay, there we are bearing away. And okay, we can hoist. Okay, it's up. Okay, and I think we're gonna jive fairly soon actually to stay in this gust. So if you'd like to go across to the other side first through the special hole okay so here's Martin he's going through the special hole and when he's ready we'll go for the jibe are you ready yep. okay so now I'll go through the special hole it's all about the special hole at the back here okay yeah I think there should be enough to trapeze we'll get this we'll get this going And you can stay forwards a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think we'll go for another jive. 
to stay in the wind. So again, if you go through the little hole first. Okay, so Martin's going through. All right, ready? Okay, and we're jiving there. Okay. And we'll see if she's got a bit more that she can give us. Yeah, there's a bit more wind coming. Okay, here it comes. Yes, yeah, so you could go out now. Okay. So here we go, we're applying a bit more pressure there. whipping along quite nicely okay but now I think we need to drop the spinnaker because we're going to come out of the wind so the same as on the tiger this is for the, the release uh, for the, the retrieval so you can you can let go of the sheet yeah release the halyards okay and then we're coming around pop that dagger board down a bit and there we are and I think we won't we won't worry about the other dagger board just now we'll we'll probably tack shortly I think um, okay instead of just flying the hull. Okay, so I think we need to go into the boat and put the spinnaker up again. So I think this time, yeah, you're going to have to hoist from the leeward side. So if you, can, if you actually go onto the other side of the boat, because otherwise you won't be able to do the tack. So, uh, tack line first. Oh, I think the halyard is caught somewhere. Possibly at the block there. Okay. Okay, and she's up. All right, you can come back onto this side and we'll... Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, I see. We've got a bit of a knot around the... Uh, it's gone around the jib cleat. various other places. Not much. Yeah, so maybe just try sheeting in a bit more. Okay, that's good.
Okay, I think maybe we'll drop it just there. Okay, so there we go. Uh, one part that I missed, I failed to mention there, is with the sheet coming from the other side, um, you do have to kind of sacrifice the bottom of the sail a little bit and pull the sheet through the bottom of the sail. Uh, the sail is reinforced at that point, so it doesn't hurt the sail. So, but that's just the only way that you can do it. So there we go, thanks for watching. I hope that has given you some sort of insight into this new style of mainsail on a catamaran. It uh, really does look the business, I think you'll agree. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel and we'll be back more from this very sunny place with some more. Thank you very much.